Hey guys, what's going on? And as always, my name is Mr. Shank, and in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a review and an unboxing of the GoPro Hero 5 Session. So, with that said, let's get into the video. And as always, my name is Mr. Shank, and today we have a really special video. Alright guys, so here, just as promised, here is the GoPro Hero 5 Session. Now, it comes in a cool little case. You get a see-through top to it, so you've got to kind of see what you're actually getting in this thing. Now, this shoots in 4K resolution, which is the highest resolution that we have to date uh, as of making this video. It tells you a little bit about what you're going to get in it. Now, um... We've already done the resolution, so it's also waterproof, and that's right out of the case. You know, as soon as you pull this out, it's ready to go at 33 feet or 10 meters. Now, I don't know a whole lot about meters, but I do know a hell of a lot about 33 feet, and I know it's pretty damn deep. So, the other thing that's pretty cool about this is that it's voice activated. You have voice controls. Um, you can basically tell it to record, to do time lapse, to take pictures. And uh, as you guys can see, let's just so you guys can see what they're indicating. On the other side, it also tells you what you're going to get in the box. Um, and you know what? We're going to open it up. See, so you, you know, that's just useless. All right, so let's pull this bad boy out of the box here. All right, just like that. Okay, so this is the box that it's mounted to. And it's pretty cool because they give you this little uh, platform up here that you can use for your mounting bracket. So if you don't have like a tripod out there, it's always a good thing that you don't throw this away. Because if you don't have a tripod, you can actually use this like a tripod. Um, and with that out of the way, you know, let's crack open the box. See, ooh, crack open the box and see what you get. Okay, so the first thing we're going to get is we're going to get a warranty, which is, that's fun. The second thing is, is you're going to end up having a product and safety manual. That's actually pretty crucial because you want to know how to make sure that you can maintenance it and keep it in good running order and obviously don't break it. Now, as we open this part of it up, we got a charging cable, which is actually pretty good, and we'll touch base on that in just a second. The other things that you get in here, is that it? Hang on. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So the other things that you're going to get in here is you're going to get two different types of brackets, right? Now, let's set this to the side for a second. Now, this first bracket is actually pretty cool, and it's curved. Now, if you guys can see that... This bracket here is made for helmets and obviously curved surfaces, but a lot of the times you'll see people use this for um, uh, helmets, like say on a bicycle, side-by-side, -side, four-wheeler, snowmobile, you know, all the, all the kind of recreation that you would need a helmet for. Um, and the second bracket is for flat surfaces, which is pretty self-explanatory. I mean... You know, there could be somewhere in your vehicle that you may want to put this or uh, another type of flat surface. I mean, it's like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. On the bottom of it, they, there's a sticky surface, which M3 usually is very, very good uh, quality material to use to stick other material to. Uh, it says M3 VHB. Now, I, I'm not a big, I don't know a whole lot about sticky surfaces, so, you know. That's, uh, let me just give you a close-up. That's it. That's what's on there. So, if you guys know a lot about it, make sure you guys leave it down in the descriptions below. You know, I'd like to know about it. If there's somebody out there that's got good education on it, let me know. Send Mr. Shank a uh, comment. Let me know. All right. So, we've got all that fun and excitement out of the way. Let's get to pulling this off of here. Now, to remove this from this little platform is you basically lift up on this little rubber part, okay? And you got two clips right out back here that you're gonna squeeze together, and it just slides right off. Now, oops, let's loosen this up because we, we don't wanna mess that up. Now, on the side here, just as you saw on the box, you have this screw, and I'm gonna take this right off so you guys can see every little part of the way this thing is set up. Now, this screw, now if you go out and you buy accessories, 
um, they will also ship you more of these um, screws and they're kind of crucial because that's what's going to take the bottom now you can separate this that's what's going to uh, help you to attach the base of your housing for your GoPro to your housing and this is basically the way that they have it connect you know all on a hinge kind of system you know so it will flop back and forth and things like that and I'm just going to leave that separated um, then on the side here you have this little tab and you're going to if you want to take it out of the housing you flip that up just like that and then you can just simply it comes out so nice it just simply presses right out take your finger onto the back side and push it right out of the housing okay so you guys can see that that's what the housing's all about you know and it doesn't really latch unless the GoPro's in there it needs that you know that outward driving force to latch down tight and the piece of resistance is the GoPro itself what you're dealing with is you're dealing with a one by one little action camera that's what this thing is and it has an amazing range. It has like super view, it has wide view, linear, linear view, got a little tongue tied, um, to give you all those great shots. Now, usually if I'm using it, then I'll do like a linear. And, uh, but it's, it's basically up to you. It's all your preference. But that's, that's usually what I do. Cause like the camera that I'm filming on right now, which is a Canon HD, is, um, that that's the way I typically would want to shoot it. But the action camera in the wide view it kind of gives you like a, a fish eye or a bowl effect. Um, and you know, in some you know circumstances, that's probably pretty useful. Like right now here, if uh, doing the review on the GoPro, if I was filming with another GoPro, I definitely probably would not want that. But you know. Um, Obviously, later on down through the video, we're going to get into uh, the more detail of the GoPro Hero 5 session. Now, the other thing is, is over here, it doesn't come with a micro SD. But if you open up this little trap door with this little uh, lever right back here. Okay. And it's, it's really sealed on there. Listen to how tight that thing is. You know what I mean? And then when you pop it. Just like that. Now remember, uh, I said the thing was waterproof. Now if you look inside here, you can see how they waterproof where your uh, all the important uh, charging ports and where your SD card goes. Is that it's got this almost uh, like a rubberized kind of, I don't really know what you call it, but it basically it keeps out the water like a seal, rubberized seal. So when you go to press it together, you can tell that it's definitely tight. You know what I mean? And then you pop it open. Ooh, that little. Now it just so happens that I have a micro SD card. Now you, when you purchase the GoPro Hero 5 session, you do not get a micro SD. I bought mine on Amazon and I bought it as a bundle. That's how I ended up with the SD card. But, uh, all you got to do is to set into your SD card is you got to flip it just like this here. You'll see the label, okay? And you're going to tilt it up at an angle. I know it's super hard to see because my big fat fingers. And you're going to tilt it up at an angle and you're going to press it in. And you'll hear a little click where it holds right in there nice and tight. And that's, that's basically it. Now, with the whole playing around in water, if this is not 100% closed, there is a good chance that you are going to get water in there and it will destroy your GoPro. So you always want to make sure that when you go and you put in a new SD card or you want to remove some of the footage, say your GoPro may be too full, make sure that you guys press that until you hear that little click. Otherwise, it's going to be vulnerable to water and you could possibly destroy it or most definitely destroy your GoPro. So always make sure that little trap door is shut good and tight. Now like I said I want to go back to this charging cable okay now we just talked about the charging cable the one thing the one flaw that I see that when you go and get the uh, GoPro Hero 5 session is uh, it doesn't come with a 110 adapter on there so you can plug it into a 110 outlet. Um, why they didn't 
decide to give you a 110 outlet that was, you know, for the amperage and voltage. I have no idea. I'm assuming that they think, you know what, everybody's got a smartphone, everybody's got a 110 adapter, you know, we'll just leave it up to them to get one. Well, you know, it, it makes sense in a way, but, you know, it's too bad that they didn't have a 110 adapter that came along with it that was specific for the GoPro Hero 5 session. But, yet again, I don't make the stuff, I'm just reviewing it. So, I, I think, you know, maybe in the future, you know, GoPro, maybe pop in a 110 adapter, but if not, well, it's a small, it's not going to hurt anything. Okay, guys, so before we move on, I think it's probably going to be pretty important that we talk about this housing as well, because um, it, it has a couple of features that are, you know, it's, it's pretty crucial. Now, down here on your mounting bracket, you can, uh, most typically, you're going to mount it just like this here. Now, but if you come into a situation where you can't mount it like that, on the housing itself, it gives you three little ports, at one at the left, one at the right, and one at the top. Now, if, say if you have to mount this, you know, on the side, you know, you have to have your little mounting bracket hooked to a wall or something that doesn't allow you to have your record button at the top. Well, that's why this housing and the little features on it. You can take your GoPro out, and as you can see, there's your record button. Now, typically, you would have to leave it like this. Well, not the way the housing is designed. You can actually rotate this so your record button is now back on top. And then you can slide it back in, lock it in. And as you can see, you can mount it towards the left. Let me get my hands out of the way so you guys can see. And now your record button's at the top yet again. And you can mount it to a wall or any kind of surface that you may have to mount. Instead of uh, having something on a flat surface, it would be a flat surface, you know, vertical instead of horizontal. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yet again, you know, it's, it's the same thing on the right side. You know, basically you can take it out and rotate it for this slot over here. And you can have it mounted to another vertical surface with your mounting plate, you know, uh, on the side. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it doesn't sound like it's very important, but there was a lot of features in the housing that I thought maybe would be, you know, pretty crucial to throw into this video. All right, so let's explain, or let's talk about the buttons that you receive. Now, this is a one by one action camera, okay? One inch by one inch, all right? Now, it doesn't have a whole lot of buttons on here at all. There's only two. On the back, if you guys can see it, there's your menu button. And if you guys can make that out, there's an information and then there's a Wi-Fi. Now, uh, later down through the video, I'm going to show you how to operate that and the different things that it brings up in this little screen right here. Now, that's the only screen that you would have for this GoPro Hero Session 5. Now, with the black, it's obviously a much wider unit and it has an LCD screen here and a readout towards the front where the Hero 5 Session is, it, it doesn't have one. Um, on the top, you also have your record button. Now, as we go through the video, you'll see it where I show you how to use your menu button and then what the record button is to do to select that. So, I think we've covered about all the stuff that we can on this first half. Why don't we get into the more technical half of it? Okay, so right down here is your informational button and your Wi-Fi button. Now, if you press it, it will indicate right here on your little screen, 1080p. Now, if you press it again, it says to enter photo mode. Now, if you press this top button, it will enter that photo mode, and you'll be able to take uh, pictures like with any other ordinary camera. Now, if you press the button again, you'll see that there's camera settings. And as you go in, it shows you right here, it shows you video, and then it shows you what you're shooting in, which is 1080p at 60 frames a second at linear. And if you press that select key, you'll see that you can go over and that's what you can click on this little check mark to indicate that's what you want. Now, moving right along, if you go, there's also the stabilization video. And that way, if you're on a bike or something like that and it's constantly being jostled around, it will help to stabilize it to an extent, you know. Okay, so the next thing that we have is we have the voice control. Now, you can say, you know, GoPro record, 
and it will record that. GoPro, take a picture. Things like that, and that's what we were talking about. Well, as you can see right there, it just took a picture. Um, you, can, you can actually use your words to activate your GoPro. Now, uh, let's go to the next setting, which is... Okay, so the next setting that we have is connect uh, connection settings. Now, that's how you're going to be able to, you know, uh, Bluetooth it to your smartphone, which you guys are seeing right here. And as you guys can tell, there is no LCD screen on here. All there is is this little screen right here that indicates uh, what the camera is actually doing. But as you guys can see, there's the lens, but there's there's actually no way of knowing you know where you are in your shot you know how it how it's looking uh, the camera angle well in the connection settings that's how you're going to be able to uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth it to your uh, smartphone okay and then you've got delete files which you can just delete files on the go um, and that's pretty much it that's all the options that they give you right through there all right, guys, so now that we've run through and we've got a chance to see the uh, different kind of modes and settings that the GoPro has, maybe what would be fun is if we did a little filming with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up on a tripod. I'm going to show you guys, you know, uh, the 1080p, and I'm going to show you the other things after you Bluetooth it to your cell phone to give you more options, more ways of making each uh, picture or video that you guys produce with your GoPro and give you a little bit more control over your GoPro. So if you guys can just bear with me for a second, we're gonna be right back and I'm gonna get everything set up just to show you that footage. Okay guys, so here we are, you, we, you're seeing it right here. Now, all of this video is being taken by the GoPro Hero Session 5. Now, if you guys look, ooh, multiple screens. Oh, where is it? There it is. Oh yeah, look at that. All right guys, so now as you guys can see, this is actual footage through the GoPro Hero 5 session. Now, what we ought to do is, since you guys can kind of see a little bit, we're gonna indulge that a little bit more later on down through the video. But what I would like to do is, like I said, I'd like to show you guys a little bit more control over your GoPro Hero 5 session through using your smartphone. So, with that said, let's bring that up. Okay, guys, so now that we're hooked into the GoPro through, you know, now that we've Bluetoothed the GoPro into the smartphone, we've gone through the GoPro app. I didn't bother showing all that detail, but what I've got right here in front of you right now, if you guys can see up into the right-hand side of the screen, is that you have all the different settings that I was telling you about. Now, at the top, you guys can see where it says Video Settings. Now, this gives you your resolution, your frames per second, and your field of view. Now, that's something really important to keep in mind is that field of view. A lot of people said, you know what, I don't really want to film with a GoPro because it gives you that fisheye bowl effect kind of thing. Well, if you guys can see right here, okay, in your field of view, it gives you the opportunity to go to linear, which is what you're seeing, um, you know, like a regular camera would be. Your wide view is giving you a much bigger picture, and that's where you get your fish, you know, your fish eye or your bowl effect. Now, super view, I haven't really tried that out just yet, so I'm not 100% sure what super view would be, um, but we're soon going to find out through the course of using the GoPro 5. I shouldn't tell you that because I'm reviewing it. So it makes no sense. So now you'll see that you have the field of view and that's actually really important considering that most people say, well, I don't really want to film with a GoPro because it gives you that fishbowl effect. But as you guys can see right here on your screen is that if you press the field of view, it gives you three different options to film in. Now, right now, I'm filming in linear. Um, that's, that's just the settings that I like. I like linear because it gives you more of like what my Canon right now, what I'm filming right now with is my Canon HD. Now, the GoPro will film just like what you're seeing right here. Now, if you go into the wide, that's where you get your fisheye bowl effect kind of look to your uh, your video. And then you also have Super View. 
Now, moving on, you have video stabilization, you have low light, you also have a spot meter and a protune. Now, the protune, we'll get right into this, and now this gives you all of your white balance, your color, shutter. This gives you that in-depth kind of uh, control over your GoPro. And as you can see, you can do sharpness, and you can also reset all these different settings that you have on here. So Pro Tunes is actually a huge feature for the GoPro 5, uh, excuse me, the GoPro Hero 5 session. Now, moving on is you got your settings, which is, you know, you get your auto rotation, you get your video, you also have English, you know, different languages, language control. Now, that was what I was telling you about the way the GoPro can work through voice commands, and, and you can ask it to take a picture, you can ask it to do video, you can do time lapse, and it's all done by your voice. So, you may not have like the uh, the smart remote that goes onto your wrist or you know you don't have to put it to your wrist but you can also get a remote for it well if you don't really have the cash to get that kind of a remote and you don't want to keep running out pushing the record button you can simply just verbally tell it to record or take a picture so as we're going down we also got the voice control enabler you know things that you can see right on here and you can set the date and the time. The other thing you can do is you can also delete your last file, which the last video that you made, you can delete that, um, or you can just completely delete the entire SD card of all the videos, which, you know, unless you really don't like them, I don't recommend pushing that. So, um, it also gives you the camera information, the location, and like I said, as you guys can see here on the connections, it also tells you about the smart remote. Um, and it has the voice remote, which I'm not 100% familiar with. Uh, then it gives you the Bluetooth, you know, the, if you're going to Bluetooth it to a device, uh, say your smartphone or whatever Bluetooth device that you can go back and forth with. Um, and then obviously it gives you your battery level and your SD card cap uh, capacity. And that's pretty much what you get through that. Now, if we go back, this is what I was telling you about having the uh, capability of uh, having an LCD screen with your GoPro. Now, off to the side, over here, I know you guys can't see it, but that's the GoPro. That's what's recording. Now, um, everything you're seeing here is it gives you the 1080p, uh, 60 frames a second, uh, yeah, 60 frames a second, and it's in the linear. It shows you, you know, uh, the brightness and so on and so forth, as you guys can see. Now, down here at the lower left, it shows the recording. Now, it's not recording. I'm actually recording this through my cell phone. Um, and uh, it, as you record a video, it will tell you how long or, you know, as it's progressing through the video. Um, now, you have the capability of switching between... Um, the video recorder, you know, or taking a picture. Now, in the video settings, you get the video, the video photo, or you can do a loop. Uh, the other setting is also your camera, which you can do photos, night, and, and a burst is like the same thing as, um, if you guys are not familiar, some people are not familiar with it, uh, it will take, you know, three shots, you know, back to back to back. Um... And then also, this is your time lapse right over here at the right side of this. Uh, you'll see time lapse video, time lapse photo, uh, night lapse photo, which I haven't really gotten a chance to experience what that is. So we'll have to dabble with that a little bit to see what that's all about. So down here at the lower right, you'll see right, right here, and we'll switch it back to video. Get over there. All right. So, now that's back to video. Okay, so now down here at the lower left, you'll see this kind of Rubik's Cube kind of icon right down here. Now, if you press on that, it will give you all these different uh, videos that you have through here. Now, those are just a few of the videos that I had shot, kind of goofing around with it. Also, some of the video that I'm shooting right now. Now, it tells you over here at the right side, you have your Wi-Fi connection, your battery life, and then, of course, the little wrench down here is where we got into our settings, which is, uh, it's, everything is really laid out. It's very user-friendly. I like it. Now, up here at the right side, 
the upper right, you'll have where you can turn your camera off and on. Now that's kind of a big thing because if you're not in the middle of using it and you want to save that battery life, well, it's a good idea to make sure you, you turn off your GoPro um, because you can't remove the battery. Okay, so the other thing that I think that I made sure that I promised you is that I wanted to do the water test. What I find is so fascinating about it is that you don't have to buy a waterproof housing. You basically pull it out of the box and it is ready to go for 33 feet or 10 meters and uh, which is absolutely fascinating because sometimes waterproof housing can be kind of expensive you know uh, if, you, if you're living on a very tight budget and it's like oh you know I, most cameras you can't just go out and put it in the water and let's go you know but the GoPro Hero 5 session can so as promised I'm going to take it in I want to do that water test so you guys can check that out. I think you guys are going to love it. So let's get over to the tub and let's get this thing underwater. Now, if you guys can see, here I am with the GoPro. And we're going to try to test out the waterproofing. Now, as you guys can see here, this is my LCD screen. And you guys are going to be able to see from here. And you guys are going to be able to see through the GoPro Hero 5 session. So, with that said, let's get this thing going. So we're going to set you guys right down here, right like that, okay? So as you guys can see here, there's the bathtub. Let me show you here, okay? There it is, right inside there. So we're going to put the plug in, just like that. And let's try to do a mixture. Whoa, that's going to be nice. I don't want it too hot. Okay, as of right now, it's working out good. And as you guys can see, it's starting to fill up. Oh yeah, it's still recording too. Oh yeah, this is gonna be cool. There it is. Oh, there it is. It's getting closer. Okay. Oh, you guys are gonna be Okay, now it's fully submerged under, underneath that water. It's fully submerged. And it's still running strong. Right now, we're two minutes into it. Still running strong. So, right now, we've got plenty of water in there. So let's turn off the water so you guys can see something without a bunch of bubbles. All right, so if you guys look down at the left side of your screen, you're going to see the same thing I am through uh, my smartphone. Is now you can see it, it's fully submerged there's my fingers we there's my fingers now let's move it around and see if you guys can see me okay there I am you guys are right underwater okay let's gonna turn it around all right so there you guys are. You guys can see me now. Okay, here we go. And we're going to try to go slowly. Oh, yeah. And now you guys are back underneath the water. That's awesome. That is so cool. Uh, I know the tub isn't all that exciting, but the idea of it is, is you know, to show off the waterproof. Um, we're probably in a maximum of maybe an inch and a half worth of water. Now the box says it's good up to 33 feet and this is kind of like a small little demonstration to just show about the waterproofing. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to do it for me today. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys did, can you make sure you go down and hit that like button? It really helps me out, helps this channel out. Also, Make sure you guys head down and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to stay up to date with all my new videos. Hit the, uh, the little bell icon. That will be the notifications to let you guys know when I do upload a new video. Uh, you guys can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, and that's pretty much going to do it for me. So, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.